So I'm going to pass through this entire market and just try to leave the camera on. Um, it, I think it would be interesting to juxtapose what we see here compared to the Fairchild plant where we started. Keep in mind, all of this is all within about one mile. It's kind of interesting. The old men playing mahjong. There's a woman in there as well. Got it his way, huh? All right. VIPs coming through. Always noticing the chicken feet and the pig snouts. Less left to waste here. People eat it. They like it too. It's really good. I just bought some peaches here. It's really cheap. It's like 50 cents for a kilogram. That's like uh, approximately 20 cents a pound. Pretty good deal for fruit. And that's the price they're charging me. I don't know what they're charging everybody else. <laughs> you got a feeling that there's a tourist price and a local price, if you know what I mean. All this cool stuff. Baked goods. Tons of baked goods. Fresh corn is everywhere. Eels, man, they're ubiquitous. I don't think I've had any eel yet. You gotta think it could happen though. Maybe soon. Little shoe. Yeah. Almost converse. The size of that. We'd call that a cucumber, except for it's the size of a baby pig. Or maybe a grown pig. Some pretty good beer. People are way into ginger. Ginger is really fine. Garlic. Mean ass peppers. Yep. Lots of fish. Lots of these little catfish. Eels are ubiquitous. Look at them. Look at this. Like little turtles. Little cats. Cats are everywhere. Everywhere, of course. You can just see this market just keeps going and going and going, and you see a lot of the same things over and over again. So people sell by having a good price, or just by the fact that everybody needs something to eat. And this this is probably the best deal in town. Look at all these crabs, crawdads. Serious stuff going on here. There's blue eggs. And beautiful, beautiful vegetables. It's actually getting more crowded now that work is out. I'm starting to see people come by to pick stuff up on their way home from work. That fried chicken, I tried to buy some, but she wanted two dollars a leg. Couldn't bring myself to pay it. Two dollars a leg. I'm sure that was the tourist price.
Beans, beans, beans. Lots of meat right out there in front of you. Hella fresh. Piles and piles of watermelons. This is a big market. Look at the edamame. Yes. Lots and lots of kinds of mushrooms. They're way into mushrooms here. Chicken feet. Mm. Mm, look at those legs. Nice. Man, I mean, they cut that stuff right in front of you. Watermelons are everywhere as well. Sausages. More chicken feet. Lots of really nice looking fish. Look at all that fish. We're not far from the ocean here, and there's a big lake here. Still a little suspicious of anything coming out of the water here. That's what we know. There's our oxtail again. You know, with what we know about the conditions of water in China, I'm a little suspicious about some of the stuff that comes out of the water. Um, I have no guarantees what quality it's coming from. Oh, thank you. Look at those, are those grapes? Those are serious grapes. And as you can see, um, distinctly different from other places. You're not going to see a lot of hip teenagers around here. And you're not going to see a lot of foreigners. The hip teenagers are all over at the mall. And the foreigners are nowhere near here. Um, and that's getting me a few stares. Fair enough. I guess videoing everything without buying anything is also a little bit, a little bit bad. But I've bought a couple of things. You could pretty much do all your shopping here. It's actually a really great way to do all your shopping, provided you're used to the conditions, which I'm starting to get there. Fish, fish, look at those big old frogs. Big ass frogs. Bananas, bananas. How much this? Now, where's that? Mm -hmm. Don't understand. You quite a much, aren't you? He didn't have any time for my bargaining. I don't blame him. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, there's a few people in Suzhou speaking some English, but for the most part, uh, people around here know maybe a couple of numbers. That's about it. Um, mostly speak the Suzhou dialect. And I think one of the other things I've noticed about Chinese people, and as I've been told, is that they're not that interested in making a big profit. Um, they're, they're interested in a fair deal for the most part. And many have shown that they would rather not even bother to haggle. It's not completely consistent, of course. Oh, look at those cherries. Those look nice. See, that's there. It's cool looking, keeps the flies away. 
Got some shoes and belts and other goods. I think I'd like to come back here with a guide and get a slightly deeper understanding of all of what I'm seeing. But it is really cool to just have stumbled upon this. And I just want to let you know, I just made a right turn uh, as I was taking a walk. And I found myself kind of leaving what could be considered tourist neutral area to basically no tourist area. And it's a trip. And people have been friendly. They've basically kind of tried to chat with me. <laughs> but not, not much in the way of common language. But here it is. This gate marks the end of a pretty long journey through a good size uh, urban market. And uh, you'll be able to see when I leave it just, you know, how only sort of vaguely noticeable it really is. You could walk right past it. But all that was deep in there. Now I'm back on the street.